Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey, and this is a pre-quake tutorial. Over here, let's learn how to change a character visual. This tutorial is pretty general and applies to just about any controller, but specifically here I will be using the official third-person star asset made by Unity. This one is a really awesome controller, it's completely free, I highly recommend it, I covered it in detail in another video. Here's the 10 second answer for how to swap the character. You change the skin mesh render, then you change the bones, and you use the avatar for that new character. That's it. Now here's the longer answer with some common pitfalls and errors. So here I've got the Unity Star S controller with the included robot character. Now of course when using this controller, chances are you want to use a custom character that makes sense for your game. So over here I've got a character from the Polygon Synthi pack. This pack was free a bunch of times, so chances are you already have it. Alternatively, another place where you can get characters is from Mixamo, which is a free website. I also covered that process in another video. So here I've got another character that I grabbed for free from Mixamo. Alright, so now let's swap out our controller to any of these two characters. Now if we inspect, we can see how it's set up. So we've got the player armature with all of the various logic scripts. Also note how this one has the animator. Then if we look inside it, inside this geometry game object, we've got the armature mesh. So this is the actual skin mesh render. And then also next to it, we've got the skeleton, which are all the bones. So now let's say I want to swap out this character for this one from the Cindy pack. Now there's only three things you need to do. You need to change the skin mesh render, you need to change the bones, and you need to assign the avatar for that new mesh. Okay, so let's try doing that. Now first, find the character that you want from the project files. So on some asset packs, some of them come with the prefab, others just have the FBX file. Either one is fine, you can just select either of them and just write the scene like this. When you do, you have the character object. And then over here is the point where a lot of people get wrong, myself as well, I have this issue all the time. So you want to use the animator from the third person controller, but you want to use the visual from this one. And the visual itself is of course composed of the skin mesh render and the various bones. So you might think that one way of getting these two objects would be to just duplicate it. So just control D, then just drag these new ones over there onto that one. Make sure the transform is all on zero zero, so they match. Get rid of the previous ones. And finally, of course, remember to assign the avatar that relates to this mesh. So let's go into the mesh grab the avatar for this new visual and just assign this one. Okay, we've done all three steps. We swap the skin mesh renderer, we swap the bones and we assign the correct avatar for this mesh. However, if we hit on play and nope, the character is stuck in T-Pose, so there are no animations. Now the reason as to why this is happening, it's actually quite simple. Over here on the animator, we did assign the new avatar, but if we try to open this avatar, over here we can see that this avatar had all of the various bones assigned, but they are assigned, you can see over here, for example, the bones start with root. Whereas if we go and see which one we just placed, this one is named root and then has the one because we duplicated this game object. So the way the avatar works is based on the exact game object name. So since we duplicated it at this one at the end, because of that, the animator cannot find the bones because the name is not exactly what the avatar is expecting. So if you have this issue, then it's pretty simple. Just make sure the bones game object is named exactly as it was on the original character. So you can either check the original character and see it was named root, or again, you can look inside the avatar and over here see, yep, the bones should be named root. So if we just rename this one to that. Also another quick thing that should have happened automatically when you duplicate it is if you go on the skin mesh render, over here, make sure the root bone transform, make sure this one is the correct reference. Okay, so do that, make sure the name is exact. And now if we hit on play, Yep, there you go, now the animations do perfectly work. So we correctly retargeted all of our animations, all of them work perfectly with our new mesh. So I can move around with my new character and everything works perfectly. All right, awesome. Okay, so now let's see the process for a free character from Mixamo. Now, like I covered in the Mixamo video, you select the character and you download it for free, then you just add it onto your project files. So here is a character that I downloaded. And first thing you need to do is select the character, so the FBX object. Then go over here onto the rig tab and under animation type, make sure it's set to humanoid. So select humanoid and click on apply. With that done, you can now again, just drag the object onto the game scene. And again, you've got the object with the animator, with the avatar inside, we've got the skin mesh render and inside we've got a reference to all the various bones. So again, how to swap out our character controller. Let's do the exact same thing. So let's duplicate these ones. Let's drag it onto the new object. Let's place them all on zero, zero, zero. Let's get rid of the previous visual. Then on the skin mesh renderer, make sure the reference is correct. So it's the one we've duplicated. And again, make sure the name is correct. So this one, get rid of that. And the final thing is assigning the avatar. So let's drag the avatar that we downloaded, assign it there, and that's it. 
And yep, over here is my character downloaded from Mixamo, and yep, it's working perfectly with all the animations with the controller, everything works perfectly. All right, great. So here are all three characters working perfectly. Over here is the original robot, then the character from the Assessor, and finally the one downloaded for free off Mixamo. So once again, just follow that checklist, make sure you follow all the steps, make sure the character is humanoid, make sure the skin mesh renderer has the correct reference to the bones, Make sure the bones are named correctly, swap out the avatar, and everything will work. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.